Welcome to what's happening with the X. The X in this video is Taurus. Taurus is the X, and we're gonna take a look at your X Taurus's life. Anything you can see that they are doing, thinking, feeling, every message I get, I will relate to you, of course. And keep in mind, if you are in the soulmate journey, this does coordinate with the soulmate journey that I post weekly. So, okay and i'm gonna pull some um oops there we go i'm gonna pull some extra messages for the detail to help you get a better idea of who we're dealing with and make sure that it sounds like it could be your situation with your ex so the two of wands is all about actually making a decision, getting that inner confidence and being able to decide. Typically, this comes right after the Two of Swords when somebody doesn't know what direction to go. They are lacking in confidence, but here they built their confidence back up and they're feeling very proud, very confident in who they are and they're very grounded in their own energy. The parents, <clears throat> excuse me, the Princess of Pentacles is all about that grounding that they needed to do in order to come forward, come forward to you. Now, this can also indicate there's a child in their life, perhaps, maybe the two of you have had a child, but really this is about the healing that took place from the breakup itself is what I'm seeing actually between the two of you. And this is an extension of an apology, a sincere apology. So they've made a decision to come forward and apologize. Now they were dealing with a lot of heart break in their life. This could have just been them reminiscing over past relationship. This could be reminiscing, holding on to that negative aspect of the two of you ending your relationship. It broke their heart, so they had to regain their courage and their confidence. It kind of shot them down, right? As it would anybody. But they're coming to a very good place. Now, they have the strength card. This is about courage. This is about inner strength, being able to really dig down deep and pull that inner strength up, which is what is giving them the confidence to make this decision. So this is very good energy. Um, they also have it again. So they must have really been going through a lot of turmoil because of this heartbreak. This could have even been, for some of you, they could have actually had some um, uh, heart issues. Uh, maybe the two of you parted ways and they were ill for a while, so they had to regain their strength just to function and then build their confidence back up because it did it did hurt them the ending between the two of you absolutely hurt them so it's like a twofold thing here now for some of you you may be aware that there was another person involved um but this is really what i'm hearing this is the negative aspect the the negative thinking associated to the breakup between the two of you and they are when we have two cards, two different decks, that's really saying, hey, this is a big deal. So they were really, really lacking in courage, really lacking in strength. They, okay, so what I'm seeing is they were, if they were not physically ill, they were just laying on the couch. It was like they didn't have the strength to even go to work although I'm sure they did. Um, when we're going through a spiritual transformation, for those of you where you're on the soulmate journey, that you, you probably can identify with that. If you're the chaser watching this, which I'm gonna refer to you as the chaser, you know what I'm talking about. Getting that strength just to get up out of bed because we're so sad. This is a form of depression where they had no strength and absolutely no confidence, no courage. Um, it was all they could do just to function in everyday life. So this is a huge comeback for them, huge comeback. 
The person you met was confident when you first met them. And through the relationship, you saw their confidence dwindling down. And then when the ending took place, um, whatever happened, you saw them, they, they lost it. Now, maybe you didn't physically see it, but you knew it. You could feel it, you could hear it in their voice. Um, they were really out of balance, ungrounded. They've recognized everything that's taken place through the situation. They've reviewed everything. They've put themselves back into balance and they have actually gained that courage. So this is beautiful energy. Now, we have the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. This is them feeling absolutely victorious that they have made great achievement just to get off the couch, right? No, I'm just kidding. No, to heal, to heal over this and to get this courage and this confidence back, huge. And they may have people in their life actually saying, oh my gosh, you finally are moving forward. We're so proud of you because it was very, very, very difficult for them. You may be aware of that, but that is what is taking place. So they're feeling victorious. They're feeling a sense of greatness about them that they made it, that they actually survived this because that's where it was. It was like they didn't feel like they could survive. I'm not going to make that. I can't, I can't do this. And they could. So this strength that they've got back, the courage they've got back, they're feeling on top of the world. And they will be communicating with you or you'll be communicating with them. But this is really about them contacting you because they do want to come forward with an apology. They want to say, I'm sorry. And they're gonna explain what they went through. So for those of you where you were unaware, um, they are going to communicate to you. You guys have been distant for a while, so you may not have even spoke to them in quite some time. Um, but again, they're coming to a very beautiful place. The person you met when you fell in love with them, they are back. So that other person, like they had a multiple personality, that person is gone. They're feeling more like themselves now, but a better version of them actually. So this is very, very big, very huge accomplishment. So let's see what their, your ex Taurus's hopes and fears are. And there it is. So we have the three of pentacles and we have the eight of pentacles. The three of pentacles is about two people when we're talking a relationship, two people actually working together to create this beautiful union. This is both people putting in the same amount of effort. So if your ex Taurus was not contributing or you weren't, what they want is this. They want to put the work and effort in to create the union. This is gonna come with, uh, these are beautiful cards for love. This is the angel of love. You see the Cupid's angel throwing those arrows out of love and getting the two of you to reconcile your differences, to come back together where you can have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. The Eight of Pentacles is all about them maybe throwing themselves into their work, but this is what I'm being shown from above um, is that they were really working on fixing themselves and fixing their life so they could come out of this, so they could get their courage back. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. It was very difficult for them, but they did it. They're feeling grounded. They recognize their errors of their ways as well as yours. They are coming back with accountability and responsibility for their actions and lack of actions, which is very huge because I don't even say that very often, but that's what I'm being shown. <clears throat> so their hope is that the two of you can reconcile your differences and move forward together to rebuild this relationship 
actually to start a new one. It could be a new one within one, but this is all about putting in the work for a common denominator. The outcome is a successful relationship. And their fear is that it may be a lot more work. From your angle, you may say it's too much work and too much effort, or even from theirs. But the good thing is they're willing to try. They're willing to come in with an apology. So it's gonna be up to you when they return because they are gonna come back. Uh, some of you could be hearing from them the end of the two week period, one to two weeks, right? The end of the two weeks you could be hearing from them. So that would be what like the end, the last part of the first week of May into the second week of May. Um, if not, it will most likely be after, but we're going to see where this is going. So this is the current energy of what's going on with your ex Taurus. And we're going to go now to Vimeo where we'll see what's actually blocking them at this point because they have made a decision. They're ready to move forward, but there is a delay. So let's see why there's a delay and where it's headed in the following one to two week time frame. If you click the link below to Vimeo, it will shoot you over to the series, scroll down to the bottom, select the correct date and uh, zodiac and date and check out the soulmate journey. Thank you for watching, much love.